and he managed to create more than 2,400 videos, tutorials by himself. So this is available on your smartphones as well because they just released an app for Android and iPhones. Uh, also, they have tools for teachers. So this is a, a wiki educator created by UNESCO and teachers can have access here to Java League, any type of software, open software that enables them to create multimedia classes. Um, next slide. Yeah. We can have different sorts of repositories. This one is a specific one in uh, informatic compute, computing uh, field, but we can have uh, re regional uh, repositories or we can have local ones. For example, in Cambodia, because I'm teaching here, the main problem is the fact that we don't have uh, access to internet in schools. So what I did, I downloaded the whole Wikipedia and the Kanaka The initiative is called eGrammary, and they allow you to have access to more than 13 million resources that are put feed on a 2 terabyte hard drive. And they have agreements with uh, websites to download their content. They have a bit, um, agreements with content producers. And uh, for the future, I just want to show you a graph that surprised me a little. These are the Google Trends for queries, what people look for, and we can see that the query for computer and mobile are kind of crossing lately. So the red one is for mobile and the blue one is for computer. So this gets to show that mobile learning is going to be the future of education. People are going to start using their smartphone for everything. At least that's what I think. So yeah, these were my quick thoughts uh, on education. Please uh, let me know if you want to the complete listing of uh, pages I mentioned. And I'm looking for, for your questions.